I'd like to talk to you about sight reading today um, because it's something we can all do. We can all learn to sight read well and to do so simply requires us to have some basic skills and understandings. I think there are four of these and we need to work at them in a very specific order. Firstly, rhythm. Now rhythm is about two things, it's about pulse and being able to subdivide that pulse. So firstly we must understand the idea of maintaining a steady and stable pulse and I want us to do this by making up some games that maybe use a metronome or some other form of time device, a watch or a clock, so that we gradually learn to sustain, to maintain a steady pulse. Once you can do that, once you feel that pulse, then we have to learn how to subdivide it um, into quavers, into semiquavers and into triplets. And those subdivisions will get you nicely up to grade 8 standard. Here's a good activity to help develop that ability to subdivide. Play a scale, but play it slowly and feel in your musical mind or ear um, a subdivision. So to begin with, you're playing the scale slowly and you're hearing that kind of throb. Now what is feeling a pulse? It's hearing a kind of throb, sensing a throb in your mind. That's the pulse. Then <clears throat> play it again and feel quavers. So for each note you play, you subdivide into quavers. You're feeling those two quavers. Then semiquavers, then triplets. Sometimes mix them up, sometimes the whole scale with just one subdivision. Be very aware of each note, each of those subdivisions. Maybe, as you get better at this or you do it more often, visualise the note values as well. Visualise those quavers. And in this way, if you do this quite regularly, if I can slightly misquote Gershwin, you will get rhythm. The second area is key and melodic shapes, and you really must know the key of a piece you're about to sight read. And we do that by playing the scale and the arpeggio. Not once, but as many times as it takes to really get to know the shape, the notes it's made up of, and the finger patterns. When we really know that key, when we really know that scale, we can say, I'm thinking in the key. We have to get to that position, you know, I really know this key. Then we need to be able to skim through um, the piece we're about to sight read, spotting similar patterns, repeated patterns, noticing details or melodic shapes, rhythmic shapes, whatever. If we understand these, and if we've done that preliminary work um, that we discussed earlier, then we're going to have a really good sense of what we're about to play. And I want us to have a bit of a stab at hearing that piece in our head, internally. And again, if we do that regularly, we will soon improve that ability, and a very useful ability it is, too. Finally, we want to make sure our musical minds are turned on. We want to make sure we take in all the markings, dynamic articulation, whatever. And this, again, is very possible if everything else is understood. Now, if we're desperately trying to decode the rhythm or remember the key signature, you can be certain there will be no brain space left for playing musically or even maintaining the pulse. Now, hence the results of sight reading that so many teachers and examiners sadly often experience. We don't want to be like that. If I might talk about this, the Improving Your Sight Reading series for a moment, that sets up a sequence of activities that will ensure success if you follow them carefully. Rhythm exercises establish the pulse, establish the way that rhythm relates to the pulse. The melodic exercises will put that understanding into practice. Um, always be certain to have played the key, the scale and the arpeggio and, and understand the key. Prepared pieces are going to ask you questions that guide you to noticing the important elements. And then a going solo section where it all comes together uh, in musical sight reading. If you're prepared well, then you will have the brain space to think about style and character as well. You know, maybe a robust pulse, a robust pulse for a kind of dance or a march piece, or a slightly looser pulse for an expressive piece. But you won't have the brain space unless all those other things are really well established and understood. So be thoughtful, be systematic in your sight reading preparation, and you will, without doubt, learn to sight read accurately, fluently, and musically.